Hey, Wayne here with the Hovsko Hov Alpha Fat Tire E-Bike. Let's check it out now. <laughs> they usually pop right open. Okay, these are stapled on good. Oh wow, it's glued too, I think. <laughs> well, I can appreciate what they've done. This is quite, quite a job. Dude, look at that. They've got nice little compartments going on in here. A lot of foam. It's all wrapped up really nice. Okay, ready? Let's go. Okay, so we've got the Havsko Hav Alpha bike out of the box. Really excited to get into this one. I think there's a few things that are different about this bike from other bikes that I've reviewed. This one has a battery that I believe has a light built into it, so I can't wait to see that. The paint job looks like a high-end paint job. Uh, for what I can tell, I don't see any weld marks on them or anywhere on the bike. And uh, the torque sensor I hear works slightly different than other bikes do, so we're gonna take all this foam off, get the bike put together, and get right into it. Make sure before you put the bike together that you turn this stem around. It comes shipped this way probably so it won't poke through the box. But turn that around, tighten these bolts back down, put the handlebars in. I'm going to do all that real quick right now. Then I'm going to go into the parts and talk about all the parts on the bike. Take it out for a ride and let you know what I think about it. But I got to say, right out of the box, this bike looks amazing. It just, it's the deepness of this paint, the clarity, the, the shininess, the sparkle. It looks great, not to mention some of the colors that they've got there with their, their logo, their name. Uh, the parts look pretty good. The motor looks, uh, that is a 750, I, I believe. I'll double check that. But I'm, like I said, I'm gonna go into all the parts, but uh, everything I'm seeing right now, fat tires and all, this bike looks like a winner so far. So the top of the stem might be a little bit loose. Just pull off this little cap, get your wrench and tighten it down. Okay, so you're gonna need to take these four bolts off. Before you mount the handlebar, you may have to twist this around a few times. It's, uh, it's kind of twisted around and I had to undo this part over and over a couple times so that I could get the length out of this cable right here to be able to reach. It's got a little deal here that you can line up, help you get this in place. Make sure you tighten up the, uh, the light. Okay, to put the kickstand on, you're gonna wanna remove the two bolts that are attached to it. And then you're gonna wanna place it on from behind the frame and then take the bolts and feed them back through. All right, it's time to get the front tire installed. What you're gonna wanna do is Remove this piece here, so you just want to unbolt that, drop it out so that the tire can fit in. This piece here for the brakes, you're going to want to pull this out. You don't need that anymore. And then you're going to want to make sure that when you slide the tire in, turn it around. This uh, disc here is going to have to go right between the brake pads right here. So um, let's get that started now. Okay, I'm working alone, so this is going to be... A not the easiest thing to do, but I'm gonna grab it, uh, I guess somewhere around here on the forks, and lift up. I'm gonna slide everything over. I'm gonna slide those, that disc right between the brake pads. And then I'm gonna try to drop this right on. Oh, got it quickly. All right, that was not hard at all. Okay, once you have the front tire mounted, you're going to take your quick release and you're going to take this part off of this side. 
Gonna take this one spring out. Remember the orientation, the small goes in first. Slide this all the way through. Go around to the other side. Put the spring back on and the nut. Tighten that on real good. And come around this side. If it just lifts like that, it's not tight enough. So, so you're gonna wanna tighten that up a, little, a bit. And see if that's good. Yeah, that's good. So now it's good and tight, tire's not gonna come off. Okay, so we're gonna do the pedals now. And there is a right and a left. You probably can't see that, so I'm gonna take a picture and place it up here for you to see. But the right goes clockwise and the uh, left goes counterclockwise. So I'm gonna throw that over there. This right side's gonna come in right here. And like I said, you should be able to turn this clockwise. And then you can stick your wrench that they give you on it. It is the size 15 open end. And you could just kind of spin it around. Sometimes people will take it and spin the whole thing around like this a few times. There you go. And then pull up on it and tighten it up. Do the same with the other side and your pedals will be done. Okay. Okay, so this is the derailleur guard. What it does is it protects the derailleur from like, say you fall or you hit it against something. This piece right here will either bend or break and then you'll have to replace it. So it's to protect that from happening, but I'm not really planning to ride very rough with this bike. It looks too good to me to do that, which is a shame, right? Because it's uh, such a good looking bike that I don't wanna run it real hard. But if I change my mind, I will mount it. And all you have to do is loosen this bolt or remove it, slide this over the stud, tighten it back up, and then make sure that it's not touching the derailleur. And if it is, just grab it and pull it back out, bend it a little bit so it doesn't touch the derailleur and you're good to go. Okay, now that you have everything installed, make sure you got the battery fully charged, your seat well adjusted, and uh, make sure you inflate the tires to the proper PSI. And um, as long as everything is nice and tight, you should be ready to ride. Next up, I'm gonna go over the specs on all the parts of the bike. Take it out for a ride and let you know what I think. This is the beautiful Hav Alpha from Hofsko. I really like this bike. It's a beautiful bike, love the color. And this bike comes with an app. A lot of bike companies don't put apps out with their bikes. Hofsko does, and that's a plus. It has a seven speed Shimano Turney derailleur, which is pretty common among e-bikes and does a great job of shifting gears. And on the inside, it has a 750 watt 48 volt motor by Sudo. Here is the 170 millimeter 42T crank set. Here I got a few shots of the Hovsko logo. Unfortunately, you really need to see it in person to appreciate just how good it really looks. The front and rear brakes are hydraulics with 180 millimeter rotors for good stopping power. The Hov Alpha comes equipped with 26 by four fat tires. These are great for pretty much any terrain. Hosko says the suspension forks have 80 millimeters of travel and can be locked out. Locked out for street riding and unlocked for rough terrain. Across the handlebar, we have the usual necessities like the grips, brakes, and the seven speed gear shifter. In the center, we have the display, which you wanna to connect to the Hosko app to unlock the bike speeds. More to come on that later. And last but not least, you have the controller with the thumb throttle. The Hav Alpha has a removable 48 volt, 20 amp hour, 960 watt battery, but it has something else that I have not seen on any bike before. I think it's a great idea. It has an LED light strip built into it. Level one, level two, level three, and then your emergency light or party light. Hosco is having a Christmas sale right now. And uh, if you want to get in on that, check out my affiliate links below. Okay, so I wasn't really planning on making this video, but it just rained and ground's all wet. And I thought I'll take it out and see how a fat tire bike rides on a wet pavement. Never done that before because it's never rained since I've been reviewing these. 
I know the pavement's probably a little slick from oil and all, but I think it's fine. It feels good. See, I'm going to brake hard right here. Kind of hard, not too hard, but see how it does. Huh. Oh. <laughs> that was good. Okay, so I'm going to test the Hosco Alpha speedometer against Draggy, which is a GPS unit to um, record your speed. So I'm going to do that right now. Let's go. Yeah, it's accurate. 18, 18, 19, 19. They're switching at the same time, so that was uh, pretty cool. Good to know. You can count on the speedometer on the Hobco Alpha. I'm looking for some more subscribers, and uh, don't forget, you can subscribe below and click the notification bell icon to be notified of more videos. I recently gave away some bikes. I gave two away, and I'll be doing more of that. And if you want to be in on that, make sure that you do subscribe and click the notification bell icon so that you'll know when those videos come out. So this bike has 85 Newton meters of torque, which is a little different from other bikes. So like I'm going up this hill, torque is there. The harder I pedal, the more I feel it. Of course, if I get tired, then it's like any other bike. I can just press the throttle and keep going. You might have to work slightly harder on this bike than some of the others, which is not a bad thing. I really, really have fallen in love with this bike and the way the torque works. In fact, this is the way I always thought torque or pedal assist worked on e-bikes. And then once I got my hands on some, for the most part, they kind of give you a little too much power when you're pedaling. Don't get me wrong, I love them, they're fun, but the way this one does it makes a lot more sense. Feels like a regular bike when you're pedaling and the way the torque sensing works. Yeah, when you get yours, don't forget, make sure you get the Hobsco app from your uh, either Android or your Apple Store. That way you can unlock the speed. It's locked, I think, at six miles an hour when you get it. So you're going to want to do that to unlock it to a class two or class three e-bike. All you need to do is download the app for either iOS or Android, sign up, log in, scan the supplied QR code that's stuck on the display, add which Hofsco e-bike you have, remove the sticker and enter the code. You'll get a link success showing on the screen. Then go to your account and select the class e-bike that you have or that you want and you're done. So the Hofsco Alpha, which is what I have, comes in two colors, champagne and dark red. This is the dark red, of course, it looks great. What I really like about Hosco is, like a couple other brands that are out there, they really cleaned up the weld marks. So there's a few on the bike here and there, but for the most part, really clean. The paint is really shiny, it's got a lot of sparkle in it. Looks like a high-end paint job to me. So. Really impressed with the paint, think it's a great looking bike. So Hofsco on their website claims that this bike can get an 80 mile range on a full charge. Um, depending on how you ride, you know, I would agree, depending on how you ride. If you use your throttle a lot, if you have the modes in four and five a lot, you're not gonna get that. And your weight's gonna determine this too. So there's a lot of factors when determining how many miles you're gonna get. But you know, if it says 80 at a leisurely ride, you're probably gonna get at least, at least 40 or 50. So that's plenty. I'm trying to get exercise today. So I'm not using the motor that high. I'm mostly just pedaling on my own power. Hofsco says that this bike can hold 450 pounds. That's pretty high compared to most of the other bikes that I have. Um, I'm, I have no way of testing that, but it does look pretty darn strong. So that could be true. So I'll go over a few things that 
I don't like and I do like. Now, things I don't like, I really, really can't find too much. Um, the handlebar, I wouldn't mind it being a little bit wider and straighter, but um, it's fine the way it is. That's just personal preference. So I could change that later if I feel like it, but I'm already getting used to it as the way it is. I wouldn't mind if the light was a little bit better. Uh, it, it, again, it shines just fine, but um, I'm used to some bigger, brighter lights mounted down here on the forks. So I, again, I may or may not change that. A bell would be nice on the bike. A lot of the bikes they have come with bells. This one did not. Again, I think if the handlebars were wide, wider, you could incorporate a bell a little bit easier than you can with it the width it is right now. So one of the things that I really do like about this bike, as opposed to pretty much all the other bikes I have, or most of them, is this space right here. It's a step through and I have other step throughs, but this bike, when you, get, when you step off of it, you have more room. It doesn't feel like you're right up on the handlebars like some of my other bikes. So, I appreciate that. that. That's a big plus. This display is nice and bright. I can see it perfectly well during the day, even better at night. But during the day, I mean, I see it perfect. It looks, it looks great. So that's a big plus. It's not overly cluttered like some of the other ones are. So this is a good thing. I like that. So the torque on this bike is really good. Coupled with the motor, a 750 watt brushless motor, you're gonna have a lot of power. It's gonna get you up most any hill that you wanna get up. You're gonna be able to just ride through anything. So with these big uh, 26 by four inch wide tires, you're not gonna have any problems anywhere. This is a good powerful bike that you can count on. And as I showed earlier in the video, the LED strip on the battery, now that's really cool. Let's say you're riding at night, you get a flat, you need a little bit of light to see what you're doing, pull the battery off, turn on that LED strip. So that's really cool too. So having a light on there, I think that's a good plus. I think uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't mind seeing that incorporated on a lot of other bikes. It's a good idea. So the Hosco Alpha, this has been an awesome bike. I've been riding it for a while now. I really love this bike. I've been zipping around, getting exercise on it, just having fun on it. Handles everything that I throw at it. It's great. I think it's gonna be one of my go-to bikes going forward. So this bike is pretty much for anybody that uh, needs to commute, needs to just uh, get out and have some fun, wants to get some exercise. This is really good in all three of those cases. So I think, um, if you're looking for a good e-bike, this is the way to go. Check out the Hovsko Hov Alpha. Hey, a quick reminder that I recently gave away some bikes. If you want to in on any of the future giveaways, make sure you subscribe below, click the bell notification icon, and then you'll be notified when I do another giveaway. So, but in the meantime, if you want to go out and get yourself a bike, this is a great bike to get. Check my affiliate link down below. Go out there and grab one, get out there and ride, and I'll see you on the next one.